All right, guys, give you a launch control real quick with the new mounts. Before, you could feel like the, uh, <laughs> Did I get you? <laughs> Yo, yo, what up guys? I don't know if you can tell, but we're in a new house. Uh, recently moved, that's why we haven't been doing any videos. I still owe you guys um, a review on the Verkline front end and the racing line box. Supposed to go drag racing this weekend, but uh, they canceled it due to storms. It was streetcar takeover at Virginia Motorsports Park. We do have autocross Sunday, Sunday still, so I'm gonna try and get a review out um, on the Verkline front end after autocross, and then hopefully hit Mexico either Friday night or Saturday night and uh, get some testing in with the racing line box. But one thing I wanted to do before I really started drag racing more is because of the Verkline um, front subframe I put in, the dog bone bushing and everything is like super tight and really you don't want to do a dog bone without upgrading your, your engine and trans mounts because it's still sloppy up top and it's going to put a lot of stress on the dog bone and that's how you break things. So decided to try O34 mounts. Um, it's his name Sean Davis of O34. You guys have probably seen him all over Facebook. I messaged him after Sean of It's Not Stock said that I should get the O34 mounts. I've been running Black Force Industries mounts since like 2014. So we're talking um, almost 10 years of running BFI mounts. I ran stage one and two on, or just stage ones on my Mark IV um, 12 valve VR6 Jetta. And I wound up putting those in my R32, but then upgraded them to stage twos eventually. And then I had stage ones and stage twos in my Mark VII Golf Bar. Um, never had an issue with them. Uh, the only issue I guess would be like availability because they're always on back order. But uh, I was like, you know what? I already love both 34. They really start to have to get rid of their ball joints for the Verkline stuff, but I still rock their um, end links and their sway bar and I'll be rocking their rotors and lines once they come out and um, probably some other goodies. Oh, I need to get their rear shock mount still. And uh, I don't know, probably more things in the future. But and now, okay, these are shiny. These are real nice and billet. So these are the brackets. Um, they go on top of the trans mount and they're for the battery box, but my battery doesn't go there. So hopefully I don't need to mess with these. Um, we'll see. And with these, these are the street sport mounts. So they have uh, like an OEM style mount that's basically garbage from what I understand. <laughs> and then you got these that are billet and these come apart and you can replace the bushings inside there to go to the stiffer durometer, it would be like a stage two, and they call them track sports. So these are the street sports. This is really nice. This is actually the uh, the transmission one, so. This is really dope, actually. I just need to make some markings here to know that these aren't moving. This is really nice. Okay, I was a little nervous, like I said. They are more expensive, but they are readily available. Um, and I, like I said, I ordered them from Sean, and it's not stock. And I ordered them Sunday, today's Wednesday, they're already here. And that was just regular shipping. You could get, you know, the quick shipping and probably out of here next day if you ordered it early enough. But, uh, no, the only thing is that sucks. Not really sucks, because they canceled my event. But when you, they give you the option on there to get the, uh, the new hardware with it. The hardware doesn't ship. <laughs> with it unless you order directly from War 34. So I got a, I had a package come from wherever their distributor is and then uh, the hardware comes from California, which is no big deal. Um, if you're in a rush, that's something you should. Wow, these look pretty. Holy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, these are prettier than the BFIs. And with the BFIs, um, the colors don't really match anything. Not that this, uh, this silver finish will, but it'll at least look neutral rather than out of place. Wow, that is really nice. Check that out. It's trying to zoom on my face or focus on my face. That is really nice. 
All right. Well, so far in terms of looks, I think these look, oh, it's got a nice machine spot under it too. Wow. I really like that. These are nice. I really like 034, like I said. 034, racing line, Burk line. Uh, they're kind of like, I'm probably the biggest fanboy for racing line, but uh, 034 is right there. Burk line pretty much already got their whole uh, catalog already, so. Now I need to get more things. I know 034 is coming out with rotor soon because the rotors that came on my car only one th that you could use the rotor on either side so one rotor does it the right way with the veins and taking in air the other side doesn't so when you get the 034 so i'll actually have the veins both going the proper direction i try to get him to tell me when they're coming out he wouldn't drop me any any hints but i'll be getting those in the future for sure and these are probably some of the last things i'm going to get this year um, the only thing I got in the books is the Dua 8 intercooler, which should be out at the end of the month, unless tunes come out, and then we'll be looking at that. But I'm actually going to school come October. I'm going out to Texas till December, so I just got that news. I'm trying to get a Tale of the Dragon day. So if you're watching this right now, I think it's Saturday, October the 7th or the 8th, whatever that early Saturday in October is I'm trying to plan, plan a day at the tail of the dragon so I'll make another video to let you guys know more information but I'm trying to get that together on my way to Texas before it gets too cold and uh, I just think it'd be a real good time so we're gonna fast forward to my first impressions of these starting the car after the install So, first drive, like I promised. Hopefully the time lapse wasn't too boring or I at least put it in. I didn't get the first start because I had my car, I was doing things here at work. But uh, on the startup you could feel extra vibration. I, I forgot about it at first. I was like, oh shit, yeah, I meant to record that because I could feel the vibration. But here just, uh, Oil's still cold, so I can't really get on it right now. And I'm on base, so it's been it's like 25. But I don't feel any extra NVH at the moment. Let's uh, let's kick the AC on because it is a little toasty outside. So you get up here, get to a stop sign, let's see how she feels, and then we'll uh, we'll cut this off till we get on the highway. I feel a little bit more with the AC on at a stop. Let me turn the AC off. Well, just turn my damn car off. I feel a little bit. Like, I mean, this is right off the rip. So give it a couple weeks of driving, a couple hundred miles on it, and then uh, they'll break in. It'll be a little softer. Honestly, I expected more. Um, I probably should have went with the, the Stage 2s, the Track Sports. So far, so good. We'll do a, a pull on the highway once the oil temp gets up, see if we can feel any difference in, in shifting or downshifting or any of that. All right, boys, we're on the highway. Let's give her some downshifts here. Let's coast down to 70. Oh God, you can go to third gear? Okay, that's going to fourth gear. Jesus. You'd be in third gear at 70. Oh yeah, there's not like a, there's 
much as a, I don't even know how, just the feeling of a sloppy downshift. real quick with the new mounts before you could feel like the uh oh my god <laughs> did that get you oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster <laughs> oh, that made me feel not okay <laughs> oh, that felt so much better like before with just having the engine and trans mount stock and the dog bone taking all the abuse, like you could feel like the motor like come back kind of hard on launch. That that keeps it together real nice. Very happy. Wow. I bet you that helped my 60 foot a little bit. Yeah, it like once it really kicked, it like kicked. And it's still it's 86 degrees out. So if I had an intercooler and it was like, I don't know, like 60 out, it would be uh that'd be real nice. Wow. 10 out of 10. 034, thank you. Bo Shans, thank you. David EQT. Thank you. Hell yeah.